Exactly. have now I'm trying to get the music to work because the DJs haven't shown up <laughs> well, I sure hope for their sake they're going to be here are you okay? latency it's as good as it's going to get
Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that little knife oh, guy sitting around here? What? Like the street.
welcome class of 2022. Let's give these grads a big round of applause. Kisa Kukit, good morning. I'd like you all to rise for our national anthem. To start us off for our ceremony today, I would like to call upon Nasukin Heidi Gravel of the Tobacco Plains Indian Band to begin our ceremony. Any akana honek kugakshek Heidi Gravel, kaki ahi yaket aknukliet. Welcome everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. I'm not sure what time of day it is right now. Um, welcome and glad to see everybody here. Just want to make an acknowledgement that um, we're on the unceded traditional territory of the akana honek. Yakut um, Aknukliet is where we from, where we're from, Tobacco Plains, which is south of here. So welcome, and it's good to see all of these graduates here today. Um, unfortunately, I was unable to make it to the First Nations Indigenous um, Honor Night, but um, I did want to tell our First Nations Métis Inuit graduates congratulations. I'm super proud of each and every one of you. It's just the first milestone. I'm sure many of you have gone through Head Start, Kindergarten, Middle School, not sure all the different um, graduation parts, but high school is something to be proud of. You face adversity, racism, difficult backgrounds, but you're here. Sorry, I think it's just because Michael is my youngest graduating, so today is completely tough, but bittersweet, to say the least. Um, but each and every one of you are going to go on a path that you so choose. And for us Indigenous people, it's always been told to us that we have two paths. One is our traditional way, our, 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 our upbringing, our traditional way, our spirituality, and the other one is education. And when I say education, I mean Western education. But eventually those two paths are going to combine. And when those two paths combine, whatever period that is in your life, 
that's when you're gonna feel and you're gonna exude absolute success. No matter what path you choose, just know that each and every one of you have something in you that's going to help you get there. And we're proud of you, and there's always help along the way. Um, to the entire graduating class from Yakut Aknoktiyat, congratulations. And we look forward to seeing what your future has in store for you. Kuyas tachas. Thank you. We sincerely appreciate your words. Thank you all for coming here today to celebrate our graduating class of 2022. This has been a memorable school year, and I'm truly happy to have us all together here at the arena to celebrate uh, your accomplishments. It's a nice change from being in the, in the school. Um, I would like to call upon our esteemed local school trustee and chair of the board for school district number five, Mr. Frank Linto, to share some words with you all today. Sukhan Gravel, Your Worship, Vice Principal Romero, Fernie Secondary staff, proud parents, grandparents, guardians, relatives, and friends, honored presenters, ladies and gentlemen, class of 2022. As we take this opportunity for our traditional graduation pause, I'm honored also, if I may, Ms. Sukhumkarbel, to acknowledge that our gathering and ceremony is taking place on the homelands of the Tanaha people in the community of Yiakov Aknukliet. What a great honor and special pleasure it is for me a 1965 graduate from 181 Pellet Avenue and son of a 1935 graduate from 1262 Dalton Avenue to bring greetings and best wishes to the graduates on behalf of the Board of School Trustees. I'm so grateful to all of those in our educational family, particularly our students, our parents, and every one of our employees during the past two years for your understanding, cooperation, adaptation, adjusting, and relentless resolve throughout the pandemic, an unprecedented time in K-12 education. Graduates, uh, I know you're sitting there asking, who is this Lento anyway? What qualifies him to address us? Well, I'm with you. There's nothing extraordinary about me. On a thrill scale, I probably rank just behind Justin Trudeau <laughs> and slightly ahead of a tuna fish sandwich. However, I've done a few things that I'm proud of a past president of Hockey BC and 2010 inductee in the BC Hockey Hall of Fame, the 42nd chair of Hockey Canada and first BC born in its history, Canada's director to the International Ice Hockey Federation, a director of the Canadian Olympic Association, and recruited by Haley Wickenheiser to be chair of the Western Women's Hockey League and then assisted Governor General Adrian Clarkson in establishing the Clarkson Cup, the female equivalent of the Stanley Cup. But most important qualifier, I've served education in this district 
For the past 55 consecutive years as a teacher, a vice principal, a principal, trustee, and board chair. Always focused every day on everybody's dream and the dream in everybody. Graduates, those are a few of the things I've done, but that's not who I am. I'm a grieving widower, a proud father and grandfather, and very importantly, proud member of six generations of this great community, Your Worship. This morning, we will acknowledge numerous deserving recipients of scholarships and bursaries. We share in your accomplishments. We congratulate each and every one of you. We salute all donors. We are most grateful for your generosity and your commitment to our graduates. To those non-recipients, like the 1965 graduate from 181 Pellet Avenue, we have a sincere belief that you too have a gift to bring, to be successful, to be a contributor, to make a difference, to your family, to your community, to your country. And so class of 2022, as you say goodbye this morning to Fernie Secondary, say hello to tomorrow. This morning is an ending, a conclusion of a process you be began some 13 years ago. Now you stand at a gateway on the other side of which is the world with all that it offers and all that it demands. Build our tomorrow graduates by building one another. Build dikes of understanding, respect, and cooperation to hold back the floods of selfishness, racism, and resentment. Tomorrow graduates, gives you the chance to work, to learn, to play, to love, and to dream. Tomorrow, graduates, is a team experience. You will find you will always be depending on someone tomorrow. A good reputation, graduates, will be a major form of capital for you. Always give more credit tomorrow than you take. The good you do tomorrow will be forgotten the day after, but do good anyway. Graduates, the privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. Value yourself, have faith in your abilities, root for everyone to succeed, write your own story in a voice that is true to your values, believe in your tomorrows. Class of 2022, the reason you turned out right is because your parents are right. Your parents are passing you the torch. You will only have it for a brief time. Make it burn as brightly as possible before it's time for you to pass it on. And so may each and every one of the class of 2022 have beautiful dreams tonight and tomorrow. Care for the land, care for people, care for your family. Good luck and enjoy your tomorrows. Kusukas Kukani. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lentil, for your good, kind words of wisdom. Next, I'd like to call upon Mayor Polizza to take the stage to present a message to our graduating class. Mayor Polizza.
want to say what a privilege it is to be bringing uh, uh, regards from the city of Fernie, um, the entire community, and uh, I want to acknowledge that I'm joined here today by two of my teammates, uh, Councillor Yvonne Press and Councillor Troy Nixon is someone here somewhere up, up in the bleachers, I think, supporting his son today. So um, I'm always thrilled when I get to have my council teammates with me at these events. I'd also like to acknowledge the previous uh, speakers, Mr. Susan Gravel and Mr. Frank Lento. There's a saying in public speaking that you never go after a child. Well, I can add those two to the list now because those are two hard acts to follow, I think. Um, one of the things that I wanted to say, I guess, to the community and, and, and to the high school graduates of 22 was that this community that you're in right now, if you look around, um, you're going to see your parents, your parents' best friends, uh, community leaders, teachers, uh, basketball coaches, volunteer coaches, volunteers at the library, they've all been a part of the community that is what makes Fernie wonderful. Um, sometimes even we have retired high school teachers that coach basketball for 15 extra years. Mr. Mill, you know who we're talking about. So um, this community that you're maybe leaving or maybe staying in, uh, I truly believe that we live in one of the best countries in the world and you're going to find that community everywhere. Your job is just to find it. There's good people everywhere that are going to be reaching out to support you and help you. Whatever you're doing next, there's probably going to be a thing that stands in the way of the thing that you want to do. And for me, it was Statistics 101. And it was the one course that I had to pass to get my degree. And I'll tell you what, if I passed it by more than 2%, I'd be lying. But what I remember about my statistics class was my professor, this really, really kind man from Australia. And every weekend, We'd get to class on Monday and he'd say, what did you guys do this weekend? That's not enough. You've got to do all the things. Go to the basketball game, go to the soccer game, go to the rugby game, volunteer for the five kilometer fun run because there's one that gets organized in every single town. So you've got to do all of the things because this is the time in your life when time is really cheap. And that's how you're going to find your next community is by challenging yourself to join clubs, meet new people, and be a part of your next community, whether it's university or a trade program or a college, or if you're just traveling. Because being part of a community, your parents know this already, but that's served them really well. And every time I participate in an event, it, it has served me well. So wherever you're going next, I just really want you guys to have fun, enjoy it, and do all the things and challenge yourself to participate in all the things that are available to you because it will really uh, make a difference. So congratulations to you guys and uh, congratulations to all the families supporting these grads. Thank you, Mayor Kaliza. And thank you, honored guests, for your thoughtful words. I spent some time considering what my parting would, words would be for this class. I first met you all when you were in grade nine. In fact, many of you were in my English classes. As the new vice principal at Fernie Secondary School, my entire teaching assignment consisted of grade nine English classes. You welcomed me so warmly. <laughs> you were so kind and helpful. So willing to show me the right way around the school and how to navigate certain areas. If anyone ever misbehaved, they wanted to talk about it. They wanted to talk it out. This is a class that has thrived on building positive relationships, and you have exemplified the reasons why having a positive connection to school is so important. And we talked a lot. There, there was a lot of, of questions and answers, and Mrs. Hay, can we, can we talk today instead of doing our English lesson? Then they think they got me off task by having some sort of talk. And in fact, it was, they were always really important lessons. It was really good about making connections with one another. So even though I think they thought they got me off task so we didn't have to do the work that day, we were doing good lessons. 
It doesn't mean everything was positive all of the time. There were challenges, but you've demonstrated perseverance and grit to make it here today. These are the qualities that will serve you well in life. These are also the qualities that have helped you endure some of the challenges that COVID-19 has caused you. But I'm truly honored to be a part of your education. It has been a true pleasure to see you all grow and mature into the kind and caring young adults you are here today. It is a moment to be truly proud of. It is important to recognize that there are so many people behind you who have supported and encouraged you to be your best. Your parents have loved and cared for you every step of your way to this day. They are your biggest cheerleaders and your hardest truth tellers. Please take a moment today to appreciate all that they have done to get you here to this day and to celebrate all that you have accomplished. You also have many teachers from kindergarten through to grade 12 who have taught you and challenged you to learn, to work hard, and to try your best. Those teachers who taught you to read and have number sense in your early years of school created a foundation for your learning here at, at Purdue Secondary School. You've had many layers of support to guide you here to this day, and we all hope that the lessons you have learned from us and the guidance you've received from us will carry you beyond today and into your future. Be patient with yourself as you learn and gain wisdom from your experiences. We are all a product of our experiences, good and bad, and they help us grow to be the strong people we are today. Persevere even when you are challenged with a difficult situation and be resilient. There are times when life will not go your way. Bend when you need to, but remain true to yourself and the direction you are moving in. In a moment, we will begin our ceremony where you will receive your certificates and any scholarships or bursaries you have been awarded. When your name is called, please come to the stage from the right-hand side here on the stairs, come to the center stage, and turn to face your audience, and then stand at the center marker. When you get here, you can move your tassel from your right to your left. Ms. Romero and Madame Danielle will share some information about you, and if you are receiving any awards or scholarships, you'll be sent with those while you are here on the stage. And you will also have your photo taken. And once you hear congratulations from Ms. Romero or Madame Danielle, you can exit this side of the stage and down the ramp. Ms. Romero, our Vice Principal, and Madame Danielle, one of our teachers on staff, will begin by calling our graduates in alphabetical order. Uh, as you can see, there's a bit of a size discrepancy, so we will be adjusting the mic. You can't hear us? Is that better? Isaac Anderson. Isaac plans to pursue a career in environmental science. His most memorable experience is the 2022 Basketball Provincials. Presented by Mike Conroy, Isaac is receiving the Sand Creek Lions Club Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a student who resides in Elko, Grasmere, Baines Lake, or Jaffrey, and plans to enroll in full-time post-secondary studies. <laughs> Presented by Julie Howard, Isaac is also receiving the Jaffrey Baines Elko Fire Service Scholarship. The scholarship is given to a student who is a resident of Jaffrey Baines Lake or Elko. The recipient has dedicated time to volunteering in the community. Congratulations, Isaac. Bennett plans to be a fishing guide in the Elk Valley. 
e a sua área de diploma da Fan Etude em Colômbia Britânica por seu engajamento no programa de pensão. Bravo, Bennett, on the completion of your dual job. I'm so proud. <laughs> His most memorable experience is a photography field trip with Mr. Willens exploring the river. Presented by Carla Germain, Bennett is receiving the Fernie Secondary School Scholarship. junior B hockey with the Florida Eels. His most memorable experience was hanging out at the Subaru with the boys. Congratulations, Reese. AJ Burnaby. and has secured an apprenticeship in carpentry. His favorite memory is making a, wood, making a wooden chessboard in shop class. Congratulations, AJ. Jack Blackburn. Jack plans to work next year. His most memorable experience is watching Top Gun in Foods class. <laughs> Congratulations, Jack. <laughs> Rebecca Blackwell. <laughs> Becca plans to attend the pre-major social worker program at the College of the Rockies. Her most memorable experience is attending basketball provincials in Kelowna. Presented by Anita Palmer, Becca is receiving the College of the Rockies Academic Excellence Scholarship and the Fernie Secondary School Path Bursary. Congratulations, Rebecca. Avery Blair. <laughs> Avery plans to take a personal training course in Australia. Her most memorable experience while at Fernie Secondary is Anytime with Christy. Congratulations, Avery. study environmental science. His favorite high school memory is a photography field trip with Mr. Willens exploring the river. Present <laughs> presented by Ann Magic, Sam is receiving the George Magic Scholarship for the Humanities. This scholarship was set up by George Magic's eldest child, Kirsten Fear, and her family in honor of him. George embodies countless qualities to be admired, such as humility, kindness, acceptance, and generosity. He was an avid, avid advocate for education, had a thirst for knowledge, and valued hard work immensely. Before attending law school, George studied the humanities at the University of Toronto. He loved history, philosophy, economics, and politics, among other subjects, and would be very proud of your achievements and excited for your journey ahead. <laughs> Presented by Barbara Bassett, Sam is also receiving the East Kootenai Community Credit Union Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a graduating student who is a member or a dependent of an East Kootenai Community Credit Union member and the Fernie District Teachers Association Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to top academic students who are dependents of Fernie District Teachers Association members. Yeah. 
Congratulations, Sam. Matea Canlis. Matea plans to attend the University of Calgary to study engineering. Her most memorable experience in high school is a November Fest dodgeball tournament, which she organized. Presented by Anita Palmer, Matea is receiving the Rotary Club of Fernie Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a top academic student who has volunteered in the community and plans to pursue further training at the post-secondary level. Presented by Julie Howard, Matea is also receiving the QP Local 2093 bursary. This bursary is given to the child of a QP 2093 member to help the student pursue further education. And the SD5 District Authority Scholarship. This scholarship recognizes students for excellence in their chosen area of interest. Congratulations, Matea. Ewan Carter. Ewan plans to study business at the University of Calgary, as well as compete for the Dino Ski Team. His most memorable moment while at FSS was playing basketball at lunch, where his nickname Lewis was created. Presented by Shanae Murphy, Ewan is receiving the Fernie Secondary School Scholarship Fund. Congratulations, Ewan. Jack Davis. After graduation, Jack plans to take a gap year. Jack's next steps will likely include following his passion for cars. Congratulations, Jack. Drayton Desjardins. Drayton plans to become a commercial pilot. His favorite part of attending Fernie Secondary is making unforgettable memories with his peers. Congratulations, Drayton. <laughs> Alicia Devora. Alicia plans to attend the College of the Rockies to study kinesiology and to play on the Avalanche women's volleyball team. Her most memorable experience while at Fernie Secondary is traveling to and playing in sports events with friends. Presented by Lisa Bass. I apologize. Oh, sorry. Uh, presented by Lisa Bax, Alicia is receiving the QP Local. 4165 Bursary. This scholarship is awarded in memory of Tucker Brass. The recipient of this scholarship is, in the, is the dependent of an active member of QP Local 4165. Now presented by Anita Palmer, Alicia is also receiving the College of the Rockies Scholastic Distinction Entrance Scholarship. And presented, presented by Carla Germain, Alicia is also receiving the East Kootenai District Label Council Bursary. This bursary is awarded to a student who is planning to attend a post-secondary institution and who has a family member affiliated with the East Kootenai Labor Council. Congratulations, Alicia. <laughs> Olivia Fairchild. Olivia plans to travel to Australia to pursue a career in personal training. Olivia's favorite memories of high school are any time spent in the kitchen with Christy. Congratulations, Olivia. Marin Farmer. Marin plans 
to work in the field of social work. She has lots of memorable experiences like backcountry horseback riding, competing in snowboarding slope style with Red Mountain Academy, and hanging with family and friends. Congratulations, Marin. Cade Gibson. Cade plans to attend the College of the Rockies and the University of Lethbridge to pursue a career in psychology. Christie's mashed potatoes are Cade's best memory from high school. <laughs> Presented by Ann Magic, Cade is receiving the George Magic Scholarship for the Humanities. The scholarship was set up by George Magic's eldest child, Kirsten Fear, and her family in honor of him. George embodies countless qualities to be admired, such as humility, kindness, acceptance, and generosity. He was an avid, avid ad advocate of education, had a thirst for knowledge, and valued hard work immensely. Before attending law school, George studied the humanities at the University of Toronto. He loved history, philosophy, economics, and politics, among other subjects, and would be very proud of your achievements and excited for your journey ahead. Congratulations, Kate. Kaden Gravis. Kaden plans to play hockey, then go to post-secondary to study nursing and eventually pursue medicine. Kaden's most memorable experience in school is sitting in the back of his bio biology 11 class with his three best friends. Presented by Sinead Murphy, Kaden is receiving the Barry Bomber Scholarship. The scholarship is given to a top academic student at Fernie Secondary School. Harry Bomber was a very successful businessman. He, brought, he brought, bought the first Subway restaurant to Fernie in December 1991. He was also the owner and operator of the Three Sisters Motel. Harry has three sons who graduated from Fernie Secondary. Congratulations, Hayden. Diego Grijalva. Diego plans to study science and is interested in pursuing a career in psychology. He has received the diploma of fin d'études in Panneau de Britannique for his engagement in the Programme Dimension. Bravo, Diego, on the completion of your dual doublet. Proud mama. Proud, proud, proud teacher. His most memorable experience is traveling to Langley for basketball provincials and staying in a mansion with his teammates. Presented by Barbara Bassett, Diego is receiving the Fernie Secondary School Athletic Bursary. This bursary is given to a grade 12 student who has shown dedication and commitment to their chosen sport. Congratulations, Diego. Kaden Gravis. Bachelor of Arts. Elle aussi reçoit le diplôme de fin d'études en Colombie-Britannique pour son engagement au programme Dimension. <sighs> Cry up here. Bravo, Hannah, on the completion of your dual dogwood. Her favorite high school memory is hanging with the girls. Presented by Anne Magic, Hannah is receiving the George Magic Scholarship for the Humanities. The scholarship, scholarship was set up by George Magic's eldest child, Kirsten Fear, and her family in honor of him. George embodies countless qualities to be admired, such as humility, kindness, acceptance, and generosity. He was an avid advocate of education, had a thirst for knowledge, and valued hard work immensely. Before attending law school, George studied the humanities at the University of Toronto. He loved history, philosophy, economics, and politics, among other subjects, and would be very proud of your achievements and excited for your journey ahead. Congratulations, Hannah. Yeah! Daniel Cameron. Daniel plans to chill with the boys next year. His favorite memory at FSS is the bathroom dance party. Congratulations, Daniel. Plans to attend the 
University of Lethbridge or Mount Royal University. His best memories of Fernie Secondary are basketball and the friendships he made with his team. Congratulations, Maxwell. <laughs> Miles Henderson. <laughs> Miles plans to attend SATE for Automotive Service Technician Program. Miles' most memorable experience is buying his first car. Presented by Mayor Angie Polisa, Miles is receiving the City of Fernie Trade Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a deserving student of Fernie Secondary School who is planning to attend post-secondary to obtain a trade certificate. Congratulations, Miles. <laughs> Ryan Henning. Ryan plans to become a heavy-duty mechanic. His best memories are having good times with the boys and rallying the race cars in shop class. Congratulations, Ryan. Bronson Hurts. Bronson plans to complete an apprenticeship as a part of the Millwright program. Bronson's best memory is graduating. Congratulations, Bronson. <laughs> Trey Hobbs. Trey plans to pursue a career that involves working outdoors. His most memorable experience is spending time with friends. Congratulations, Trey. Liam Holt. Liam plans to travel to Japan to experience another culture. Liam's favorite memory from FSS is the last day of school and all the festivities. Congratulations, Liam. Waylon Kozowski. Waylon plans to be a heavy duty equipment operator and a future rancher. His most memorable experience is in school with Mr. Crawford and the middle class. Congratulations, Waylon. Tessa Hutchinson. Tessa plans to attend the Animal Health Technology Program at Olds College as well as pursue the trades as a farrier. Tessa's most memorable experiences are the stunts pulled by the boys in shop class. <laughs> Presented by Anita Palmer, Tessa is receiving the Rotary Club of Fernie Trade Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a student who plans to pursue trades training at the post-secondary level and who has shown dedication to their chosen field of study. <laughs> Presented by Senior Murphy, Tessa is also receiving the Elk Valley Cruiser Bursary. This bursary is awarded to a deserving student who was enrolled in senior shop classes and was diligent in their learning in this area of study. Congratulations, Tessa. upcoming year studying heavy duty mechanics. His favorite memories at Bernie Secondary are turning off all the power breakers in the Apex classroom and blowing the train horn at the College of the Rockies during class. Congratulations, Brian. <laughs> Taya Jamin. Taya plans to attend Mount Royal College to study anthropology. Her favorite memory at FSS is building Quincy's in grade eight. Presented by Carla Germain, Taya is receiving the Ecole Isabella Dickin PAC bursary. This bursary is awarded to a deserving student who attended Isabella Dickin Elementary School. <laughs> Con 
congratulations to him. <laughs> Sasha Kelleher. <laughs> Sasha plans to attend the University of British Columbia to study engineering. Elle reçoit le diplôme de fin d'études en Colombie-Britannique pour son engagement au programme de subvention. Bravo, Sasha, on the completion of your dual dogwood. She has enjoyed meeting new friends and exploring Fernie since moving here in grade nine. Presented by Tammy Ogden, Sasha is receiving the Tech Courageous Leader Award. The scholarship is awarded to a student who has demonstrated the qualities of a courageous leader. Presented by Aaron Hay, Sasha is receiving the Sarah Wetnam Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a female student in School District 5 who has received the highest mark on the Euclid exam and who plans to continue her studies in the STEM field. <laughs> Presented by Barbara Bassett, Sasha is also receiving the Royal Canadian Legion Scholarship and the Fernie Elks Lodge Number 81 Scholarship, which is awarded to a student that has dedicated time to serving the community, as well as the Youth Community Service Award and the SD5 District Authority Scholarship, which recognizes students for excellence in their chosen area of interest. Congratulations. Parker Kennedy. <laughs> Parker plans to complete a double major in physics and astronomy at the University of Victoria. He is also looking forward to joining the University Caving Club. Parker's favorite school memory is the French exchange trip. Presented by Mayor, <laughs> Mayor Ange Caliza, Parker is receiving the City of Fernie Academic Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a high-achieving student of Fernie Secondary School who is planning to attend a post-secondary institution. <laughs> Presented by Julie Howard, Parker is also receiving the International Union of Operating Engineers Local 115C Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a student who is independent of Local 115C and plans to attend post-secondary school. Congratulations, Parker. <laughs> Rowan Pipnick. Yeah! Rowan plans to attend the University of Calgary to study environmental science. Rowan's most memorable experiences are the grade nine drama class and sitting in the back of Biology 11 with friends. Presented by Lisa Bax, Rowan is receiving the Rocky Mountain Optometry Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a student who is continuing their education at a post-secondary institution and who has excelled in senior sciences. Congratulations, Rowan. <laughs> Landon Kubos. Landon plans to attend the College of the Rockies and the University of Lethbridge to study environmental science, to become a wildlife biologist or a conservation officer. His most memorable experiences are going to Blue Lake and meeting NHL player Kevin Viesca. Presented by Anita Palmer, Landon is receiving the College of the Rockies Academic Excellence Scholarship. Presented by Danielle Parento, Landon is receiving the Fernie Lions Club Scholarship. <laughs> Presented by Lisa Bax, Landon is receiving the East Kootenai Community Credit Union Scholarship, which is awarded to a graduating student who is a member or dependent of an East Kootenai Community Credit Union member. He's also receiving the Fernie Rod and Gun Club Scholarship, which is awarded to a member of the Fernie Rod and Gun Club. And he is receiving the Fernie Elks Lodge Number 81 Scholarship, which is given to a graduating student who has demonstrated leadership and community spirit. Congratulations, Landon.
Jersey Market. Jersey plans to take a gap year, and her favorite memory is hanging out in Amanda's room. Congratulations, Jersey. Layanne de Francois. Layanne plans to attend Quest University in Squamish to complete a Bachelor of Arts in Science degree. Layanne is ready to face the world with courage. Presented by Sinead Murphy, Layanne is receiving the Resorts of the Canadian Rockies and Fernie Alpine Resorts Summit Fund. She is also receiving the Jolene Paris Memorial Bursary, which is presented in memory of a former student, Jolene Paris. Congratulations, Leon. Leo de Francois. Leo plans to study philosophy at the University of Calgary. His favorite class at FSS was art. Presented by Sinead Murphy, Leo is receiving the Fernie Chamber of Commerce Scholarship. The scholarship is awarded to a student who is pursuing post-secondary education and whose parent is employed by the Fernie Chamber of Commerce. Congratulations, Theo. <laughs> Anna Lowen. <laughs> Anna plans to pursue nursing at the University of British Columbia. Elle reçoit le diplôme de fin d'études en Colombie-Britannique for her engagement in the dimension. Bravo, Anna, on the completion of your dual dogwood. Her most memorable experience is hanging out with friends and playing team sports. Presented by Julie Howard, Anna is receiving the SD5 District Authority Scholarship, which recognizes students for excellence in their chosen area of interest, as well as the Youth Community Service Award. to complete a combined degree in arts and education with the goal of becoming an elementary school teacher. Elle reçoit aussi le diplôme de fin d'études en Colombie-Britannique pour son engagement au programme d'immersion. Bravo Mason on the completion of your dual dogwood. Her most memorable experience from high school has been hanging out with her friends in French and photo class. Presented by Carla Germain, Mason is receiving the SC5 District Authority Scholarship, which recognizes students for excellence in their chosen areas of interest as well as the Diane Durek Memorial Scholarship, which is awarded to a student who plans to pursue further education in the human service field, as well as the Canadian Parents for French Award, which is awarded to a French immersion student who has shown commitment to the French language and who will graduate with a bilingual to a top of diploma. Congratulations. <laughs> Mizarro. <laughs> Max plans to study Bitcoin mining. Max most, Max's most memorable moment at Fernie Secondary was from grade 7 when he thought it would be a good idea to slide down the stairs at the gym. I won't say what happened after that. Congratulations, Max. Tom plans to take a gap year working and traveling. His favorite memories are hanging out with friends and defeating Jaffrey in volleyball in grade eight. Congratulations, Tom. John Mendoza. John plans to become a mechanic because he loves working on cars and meeting new people. His most memorable experience is making friends at Fernie Secondary. Congratulations, John. <laughs> Aiden Mitchell. Yay! 
Aiden plans to attend the Grand Prairie Trade School to study mechanics. His favorite memory is hanging out with his friends in shock. Presented by Lisa Bax, Aiden is receiving the Sparwood and District Fish and Wildlife Association Scholarship. This award is given to a student who is a relative of past or present Sparwood and District Fish and Wildlife Association member and plans to attend post-secondary within one year of graduation. Congratulations, Aiden. Cameron Morgan. Cameron plans to travel and to learn, mo uh, learn more about pursuing a career in real estate. Memorable moments at FSS are time spent in Mr. Willard's art class and being in the kitchen with Christy. Congratulations, Cameron. Il reçoit le diplôme de fin d'études en photo de mécanique pour son engagement au programme Dimension. Bravo Andrew on the completion of your dual dogwood. His, his favorite memories are getting taught photo by an art by Mr. Willens and talking with Miss Bax. Presented by Julie Howard, Andrew is receiving the Canfor Scholarship. Canfor awards this scholarship to a student who plans to pursue further training in a forestry specific field. Congratulations, Andrew. Panica yeah. plans to attend the University of Waterloo for civil engineering. Her favorite memory is filming hashtag fit checks in Miss Howard's chem class. Presented by Carla Germain, Panica is receiving the Garrett and Fernie Ready Mix Scholarship as well as the QP 2093 Relatives Bursary as well as the Yamagoya Sushi Scholarship. Congratulations, Kanika. Lucas Olsen. Lucas is currently enrolled in the Youth Train and Trades at the College of the Rockies in the welding program and will be completing his first year as an apprenticeship in the fall. Presented by Sinead Murphy, Lucas is receiving the Can4 Scholarship, which is awarded to a student who plans to pursue further training in a forestry specific field. The 3300 Club Trades and Technical Scholarship, who, which is awarded to a student who plans to complete trades training at a post-secondary institution and the Sand Creek Lions Club Scholarship, which is given to a student who resides in Elko, Grasmere, Baines Lake, or Jaffrey, and plans to enroll in full-time post-secondary studies. Congratulations, Lucas. <laughs> Eden Ostaforov. Eden plans to attend Selkirk College for the two-year forest technology program. Eden's most memorable experience is working in the kitchen with Christy. Congratulations, Eden. <laughs> Logan Pomerantz. <laughs> Logan plans to travel and see cool things. His most memorable experience is going to the gym. Congratulations, Logan. <laughs> Mackenzie Pratt. <laughs> Mackenzie plans to attend post-secondary school to study nursing. Elle reçoit le diplôme de fin d'études en Colombie-Britannique pour son engagement au programme de mention. Bravo, Mackenzie, on the completion of your dual dogwood. Her most memorable high school experience is Miss Thompson's pre-calc class and cafe with Christy. Presented by Barbara Bassett, Mackenzie is receiving the Elk Valley Gymnastics Scholarship as well as 
the Piao Murray Memorial Hospitality Bursary. The scholarship is awarded to a student who plans to complete trades training at a post-secondary institution. Congratulations, Mackenzie. Ethan Press. Ethan plans to become a welder. His most memorable experience in school is gym class. Congratulations, Ethan. Sarah Pollan. Sarah plans to attend Concordia University next year to complete a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. Her most memorable experience in school is bonding over a tub of Ben and Jerry's with the ladies. <laughs> Presented by Barbara Bassett, Sarah's receiving the Fernie Women's Resource Center Scholarship founded by Lynn Mace Bursary. Oh, sorry. The Fernie Women's Resource Center founded by Lynn Mace Bursary. This bursary is awarded to a female student who has contributed to her community in a meaningful way. Congratulations, Sarah. Isaac Humphrey. Isaac plans to become a sports medicine doctor and work with a sports team as their health and nutrition coach. Isaac's most memorable high school experience is when Ms. Elliott joined the mosh pit during Matea's November Fest event. Presented by Brendan McLean, Isaac is receiving the Dr. Spencer McLean Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship goes to a student pursuing the field of medicine or healthcare and is in memory and honor of Spencer McLean, who graduated from Fernie Secondary School and continued his studies in medicine, specializing in orthopedic surgery. Just prior to his untimely death at age 36, Brendan was awarded the Fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons of Canada. The deserving candidate of this scholarship will demonstrate, as Dr. McLean did, the desire to learn, a compassion for helping people, and a love for life. Congratulations, Isaac. Switch so I could read out Shania Richmond. Shania Richmond. Shania plans to study at Concordia University and pursue a field of social work. Her most memorable experience is bonding over a Ben and Jerry's over, a, over Ben and Jerry's with the ladies. Presented by Mayor Ange Poliza, Shania is receiving the City of Fernie Scholarship. The scholarship is given to a student of FSS who is planning to attend a post-secondary institution. Presented by Carla Germain, Shania is receiving the Elk Valley Thrift Source Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a student who has dedicated time to volunteering at the Elk Valley Thrift Store and who plans to pursue further education at a post-secondary institution. Congratulations, Shana. Cameron Robinson. Cameron plans to move to Cranbrook or Kimberley with some friends and hopes to complete his class one license to drive haul trucks. His favorite moments are at FSS are meeting new people and hanging out in shop. Congratulations, Cameron. Regan Shaw. Happy! Regan plans to attend the University of Calgary in the fall. Go Dinos! Regan's most memorable experience is bonding over a tub of Ben and Jerry's with the ladies. Clearly, I missed out on something here. <laughs> Presented by Barbara Bassett, Regan is receiving the Western Inspirational Award, as well as the Pride Society Scholarship. Congratulations, Regan. <laughs> Mallory Speed. <laughs> Mallory is attending University and plans to study biology. Elle aussi reçoit le diplôme de fin d'études en Colombie-Britannique pour son engagement au programme de nation. Bravo Mallory on the completion of your dual dogwood. Her most memorable experience is making small talk in French class. 
<laughs> Presented by Julie Howard, Mallory is receiving the SD5 District Authority Scholarship, which recognizes students for excellence in their chosen area of interest, as well as the 3300 Club Academic Scholarship, which is awarded to a top academic student in recognition of their commitment and dedication to their studies, as well as the Royal Canadian Legion Scholarship, and finally, the Fernie District Teachers Association Scholarship to, that is awarded to top academic students who are dependents of Fernie District Teachers Association members. Congratulations, Molly. Cheyenne Smith. <laughs> Cheyenne plans to attend the accounting program at the College of the Rockies. Her favorite memory from Fernie Secondary is playing on the senior girls soccer team. Presented by Mary Giuliano, Cheyenne is receiving the Triangle Women's Institute Bursary, which is presented to a South Country student who has been actively involved in the community. Presented by Julie Howard, Cheyenne is receiving the Sand Creek Lady Lion Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a student who lives in the South Country, is enrolled in academic courses, and who attended grade 10 at Jaffrey Junior Secondary School. Congratulations, Cheyenne. <laughs> Michael Spoonhunter. Michael plans to pursue a job in the real estate field or field of work that involves basketball. Michael's most memorable experience is hanging out at the duck pond with friends. Congratulations, Michael. We will call Megan Stewart onto the stage. <laughs> Megan plans to attend the University of Calgary for Linguistics and Speech Sciences and to pursue a career in language pathology. Megan's most memorable times in high school were hanging out with Christy in the kitchen, kitchen crew for life. Presented by Mary Giuliano, Megan is receiving the Dr. Sparling and Ms. Mary East Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to an academic student who plans to pursue a career in the health sciences. <laughs> Presented by Laura Abramson, receiving, um, sorry, Megan is receiving the Lorena Mako Scholarship. Principal and Vice Principal Association Scholarship, which is given to a student who positively contributes to the school community. This recipient is selected by administration. And finally, presented by Sinead Murphy, Megan is receiving the Seniors Drop-In Center Scholarship, which goes to a top, top academic student who plans to enter a field that benefits seniors and who has contributed to their community in a meaningful way. Congratulations, Megan. Alia <laughs> Tattersall. <laughs> Alia plans to move to Kelowna to study nursing. Her most memorable experiences are meeting friends and playing volleyball in Jaffrey. Presented, oh, hold on, you're not done yet. 
<laughs> Presented by Barbara Bassett, Aaliyah is receiving the Columbia Power Bursary. This bursary is awarded to a student who has a desire to excel and is registered for full-time post-secondary studies within a year of graduation. Congratulations. <laughs> Morgan Tran. Morgan has accomplished great things while playing sports, such as receiving multiple MVP awards for basketball and volleyball, attending the BC Summer Games for track, and receiving the Athlete of the Year award this year. Morgan reçoit le diplôme de fin d'études en Colombie Britannique pour son engagement au programme de nation. Bravo, Morgan, on the completion of your dual dogwood. Morgan's most memorable experience is attending the 1A Girls Basketball Provincial Championship this year. Morgan and her team placed third in the tournament. Presented by Lisa Bax, Morgan is receiving the Fernie Secondary School PAC Bursary. Congratulations, Morgan. Noah Webb. <laughs> Noah plans to take a gap year and enjoy fishing and skiing. His favorite memory at FSS is hanging out with friends. Presented by Ms. Bax, Noah is receiving the Fernie Secondary School Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to deserving students of Fernie Secondary who have shown dedication to achieving their educational goals. Congratulations, Noah. Parker Weber. Parker plans to go to the University of Calgary to pursue a dual degree in education and mathematics. His most memorable experience is hanging out with the boys. Presented by Orlin Weber. Parker is receiving the Elk River Mason Lodge number 35 scholarship. This scholarship is given to a student who has shown dedication to their studies and who plans to pursue post-secondary education. <laughs> Presented by Julie Howard, Parker is receiving the District Authority Scholarship, which recognizes students for excellence in their chosen area of interest. He's also receiving the Royal Canadian Legion Scholarship, which is awarded to a recipient who has shown dedication to their studies and plans to pursue further training at a post-secondary institution. And finally, he is receiving the Fernie District Teachers Association Scholarship, which is awarded to top academic students who are dependents of Fernie District Teachers Association members. Congratulations, Parker. Piper Whalen. Yeah! Piper will be studying biology at the University of British Columbia. He received the diplôme de fin d'études en Colombie Britannique for his engagement in the program de nation. Bravo Piper on the completion of your dual dogwood. Her most memorable experience is Photography 11 with Mr. Willens. Presented by Carla Germain, Piper is receiving the 3300 Club Dr. Roy McLean Scholarship, which is given to a student who has shown dedication and commitment to their chosen field. In addition, the student is a leader who has dedicated time to community service, as well as the East Kootenai Community Credit Union Scholarship, which is awarded to a graduating student who is a member or a dependent of an East Kootenai Community Credit Union member. Congratulations, Piper. And let's give a big round of applause to all our graduates. I would also like to thank Ms. Romero and Madame Danielle for reading all of the awards. It can be, it went smooth and beautifully, so thank you for all your hard work and preparation. Yeah. 
I would like to also take a moment to extend our appreciation to our community for their generous support of our graduates. Because of their generous support, we've been able to provide a total of more than $63,000 in scholarships, bursaries, and awards to all of you. Let's give our community a big round of applause. Next, I will be presenting the Governor General's Academic Award. The Governor General's Medal was established in 1873 and it recognizes students who have achieved the highest academic average in all grade 11 and grade 12 classes. On behalf of the Governor General of Canada, I'm pleased to extend this award to Ms. Sasha Kelleher. With that award will come a medal, and the medal will be received in the fall, so we'll contact Sasha in the fall and she'll we'll present her with the medal. Next, I'd like to call upon the class of 2022 valedictorian for the Fernie Secondary class, Ms. Matea Canlis. Bonjour. We are grateful to be gathered here on the homelands of the Tanaha people. Hello everyone. For those who don't know me, my name is Matea Canlis, and I'm so honored to be this year's valedictorian. Oh, today we have all reached an important chapter of our lives. Soon we will be thrown into the real world. And I think I can speak for all of us when I say I'm nervous. Now, I personally, and I know many of us will be also, broke, um, we will be stressed, and we will be homeless. And, to top it all off, while my parents are celebrating that they're finally empty nesters, I will be trying to find food. <laughs> New beginnings can be scary, and not everyone likes change. However, I am hopeful and excited for the journey that we are all about to embark on. We have been given the opportunity to make our own decisions, make new friends, and most impor importantly, follow our own dreams. With that being said, on behalf of the graduating class, I would like to take this moment to thank the people in our lives that have been very significant in getting us to where we are today. Thank you, Mrs. Hay and Mrs. Romero, our teachers, past and present, um, as well as our support staff for not only educating us and preparing us for our journey ahead, but for also supporting us inside and outside the walls of our school. Thank you to our lovely office ladies, Mrs. Ferelli and Mrs. Matt, I hope you're watching for their hard work in making our school run smoothly and for always being there to greet us when we are late, which was often. Thank you, Christy, for always being there for us and for always making sure we are fed. Um, thank you, coaches, for helping us succeed physically and for teaching us important values such as leadership, teamwork, respect, and perseverance. Thank you to our custodians who worked very, very hard every day to ensure we were able to learn in a clean and safe environment, especially through a pandemic. 
Thank you to our bus drivers for gifting us with safe transportation to school, as well as out of town for competitions and field trips. Now I'd like to thank all the people here today that hold a special place in our hearts. Each and every one of us grads has a person or a group of people in our lives that we could not live without. Graduates, I would like you to take this moment to think about those people in your life. The people that have been supportive and accepting of who you are. The people that not only show up when you're at your best, but also when you're at your worst. The people who push you to become the best versions of yourself and have been your rock when the whole world around you seemed to be crumbling down. Now, I don't know who these people are to you personally, but I ask that every grad here takes the opportunity after the ceremony to thank the person or these people for everything they have done for you. Last but not least, to our friends, the ones that have been here through times of joy and times of sorrow. I have one singular message for you. Muchos gracias, amigos. It's been a slice. <laughs> to my fellow graduates, I would like to say congratulations. The past couple of years have not been kind to us, and we've all had to overcome great challenges to get to where we are today. Now, I hate to bring up the past, but COVID-19 was a thing, and it was also not very fun. Um, we were all isolated, categorized, and our mental health took a big hit. However, through all the uncertainty, the hopelessness, the loneliness, we made it through, and we are stronger because of it. High school has also come with its own set of challenges. We had due dates and deadlines. We were building new relationships while also trying to maintain old ones. Uh, there was heartbreaks, there was stress, there was loneliness, and finally, there was pimples. It's safe to say that it was a roller coaster, and although the ride was bumpy and had many twists and turns, we made it to the end. Life, my friends, is not going to be any easier. We are now entering the world that, is, that isn't guarded by the strong hands of our guardians. We will get knocked down, we will face many challenges along the way, and at some point, we may even want to give up. But we must persevere. I have personally witnessed the amazing people you have all grown to be. And I'm confident you will be successful and over overcome anything that is blocking your path. You are all resilient, hardworking, optimistic, and most importantly, you are all kind individuals. And nothing can stop you from achieving, your, achieving greatness. So shoot for the stars. It saddens me to say this, but we are all grown up. It is now time to move forward. After today, we will no longer walk the halls of Fernie Secondary as students. We will no longer meet up for team practices or club gatherings as Falcons. We will be alumni, passing down our most cherished memories and traditions with our younger generations. But now it's time for new memories and new beginnings. And although this day is bittersweet, I'm excited to see you all pursue, uh, pursue your passions because we are the future. We are the next generation of entrepreneurs, nurses, teachers, pilots, doctors, and engineers. We, also, we are also the next generation of artists, bodybuilders, musicians, and musicians. We are also the future of hockey, and I'm looking at you, Reese Baker and Hayden Gravis, who are going to make it to the NHL, and no one can change my mind about that. Nonetheless, each and every one of us holds the key to endless possibility. And my only word of advice to you all is to take advantage of it and be the change you wish to see in the world. We believe in you, so go make history. Now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the future 
the graduating class of 2022. Thank you, Matea. We are nearing the end of our ceremony today. Next, I'd like to call upon Mackenzie Pratt and Megan Stewart to present the composite photo to Fernie Secondary School. Thank you. Now your beautiful photos will also grace the walls next year in the library at Freddie Secondary School. Finally, I'd like, to, I'd like to take a moment to draw your attention to the small trees located in the entrance area when you came into the arena. The graduating class of 2022 has purchased 65 young trees, one for each student, and we will all plant these trees as a contribution back to the community and to our planet. So watch for more details of this event to come. When we conclude our ceremony, please find your families and take some photos. They're beautifully decorated trees, all personalized for each of our students around the arena. So take a minute to enjoy those and and have a look at the beautiful memories created on all of the trees. Once you've had all the photos you want, you're gonna come behind the stage grads to return your gown and your stole, and you get to keep your cap and your tassel. In a moment, I'm going to ask all of our grads to come forward into this area. You're gonna to have to cuddle in tight for the celebratory cap toss. So please wait for my count. It'll take a few moments to get you all up here and together. And when I count to three, you may toss your cap into the air. So come on up, grads, all into this area. You're just gonna have to go as wide as you can. That's all we can possibly do. <laughs> Okay, grass, it looks like we're all in tight, so get ready on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get on there. Yeah, so much of it. So much in our body right now. So much in our body.